Yud is good, it's your boys, I'm back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're gonna be going over and talking about how, why it is easier to be no money spent in my team, or start an account, start your my team right now, than it has been in the history of the game. Now, I'm talking about for this stage we are in, obviously, you know, at the end of last year, it's easy to get every, you know, end game in the game, but for this stage we're at, at Christmas, why it's easier to have a good and competitive and build your good and competitive no money spent squad compared to ever before. Now, this is with no game mode rewards being worth it, like David West, Otis Storm, Damian Lillard, like there's not a game mode really reward worth it, level 40 solid. But there is so much else in my team that makes it so easy on you. Let's start with this, okay? Right now in my team, there's this New Year's event. Now, what really is this? Well, it is basically you get a New Year's event reward after a each and every win, okay? It's this. I'll just open a few of them for you guys. Now, if you get 30 fireworks, you can get guaranteed 25,000 empty. Guaranteed. Which you guys, again, might not think it's that big of a deal. But that is one of the main reasons that it is easy to be no money spent right now. Because, yes, you already get empty after every win. You get progress towards level 40 after every win. But you're inching your way closer to this 25,000 MT. Now, if you play a ton, maybe you want to get RJ Barrett. Maybe you want to get Patrick Ewing. But for me, MT is more valuable than nearly anything else. And you guys are seeing how, how close I'm getting towards this. 25,000 MT and maybe if I redeem it right now I'll be able to get an extra 25,000 MT here in a little bit now normally you don't get this many fireworks in a row sometimes you'll get that 2024 bronze pack in which you need two of those for a firework Sometimes you'll just get like a gold badge, something else. But obviously, you guys can see that is very, very, very rewarding. And for me, even on this account, which isn't no money spent, that is going to be really useful. You guys can see what else is in here if you want. If you like really like open impacts, you can obviously open them. Just know they are unauctionable. In the agendas, there is so much to grind. You could have grinded all of these legendary path players out for Shaquille O'Neal. Now, if you did that, and that is a great addition to your squad but more importantly than anything guys these equal chance packs this grind is so easy you could grind all of these new year's resolution season agendas you could have a, add a sapphire a ruby and an ami super easy and and yeah i mean a lot of them aren't great but let's say for the sapphire you get mitchell robinson let's say for the ruby you get Kenyon martin and then for the amethyst you get dikembe matumbo boom all three of those guys can play for your squad already even if you get Herb Jones, he can play. If you get Jordan Poole, he can play. Boom. Just like that, you've got three guys added to your squad that you got for absolutely free. Now, another thing I want to talk about is some of these legendary path players. A lot of them aren't good, but even a guy, let's say, like I, I think I saw like I, an Andre Iguodala I got. You know, that he can be used. He can be absolutely usable, and that is very helpful. Another thing I want to hit on right now is is this in the lifetime agendas you can get the a top two big men in the entire game a top two power forward or center in the entire game for getting 200 blocks now if you're no money spent you might be like ty how do i get a card that can get a lot of blocks well i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna say in the nicest way possible if you can't afford a 4,000 MT Mitchell Robinson, I don't know what to tell you. If you can't afford, like, or if you can't type in a locker code to get you Jaron Jackson Jr., who blocks more shots than about anybody, I don't know what to tell you. But there are so many different options that you have in which you can easily, very easily, get this Chet Holgren for free. And not only is Chet one of the best big men in the game, he's absolutely free. He's going to be one of the best big men in the game for the foreseeable for future. So boom, you grind those agendas, you get three cards. Boom, you add Chet to that. There's four cards off rip that are absolutely elite. And as you're grinding stuff, your MT is going to go way up. And then, you know what? Guess what? You could add some of 
these good budget cards right here. Grind out Jalen Suggs, pair with Franz Wagner. Then you're looking at six guys added to your squad already. Now you guys might be like, Ty, Jalen Suggs, what is you talking about? Well, these tis the season packs that you can, or players you, you can grind for. Uh, is something I would take advantage of. Jalen Suggs, yes, but then you got all of these Tis the Season uh, equal chance packs as well, which you can get a Ruby, an Amethyst, all of those things. If you strictly forget about the game modes and just grind the agendas, you're gonna notice your team get way, way, way better. All of these cards you can add to your squad for absolutely free. And you might be like, oh, Ty, it's gonna be a hard grind. Look at this, apply five shoes, score six fast break points, and get 10 assists with magic players. Super easy to grind for one of the best budget point guards in the entire game. And then you pair him with Jay, or you pair him with Franz Wagner, get that dynamic duo going. You got two absolutely incredible cards for 10,000 MT added to your squad. Now, I'm just listing the start of things that makes it so easy to be no money spent right now. And just realize, if you save up your MT right now, the season four is coming, guys. And season four, most of the time, is when SIGs start to change. It's when budget cards really become, you know, at, at the forefront of everything. And if you get some of these budget guys I'm talking about, Jalen Suggs, Franz Wagner, you grind that uh, that agenda for Chet Holgren. You add some of those, you know, uh, some of those really cheap budget cards or grind out some of these, uh, you know, free cards in Kenyon Martin. Maybe you'll get Mitchell Robinson. Heck, maybe you'll get Dikembe Mutombo. You start your team with that. You build your MT up. At the start of season four, guys, you're going to be able to spend some MT and really reap the rewards. Like I always said, I would play whatever game modes you have fun playing. Right now, the most worth it to play is triple threat offline because after every win, you get a uh, an exchange for it for you know fireworks or you know free MT stuff like that. Plus, you can get through games super quickly and it's easy to grind blocks out in there. I'm telling you guys right now. You do not need Kobe. You do not need Pink Diamond Giannis. You do not need Wemby. You can start your my team right now. Watch my No Money Spent Squad series. I started a week ago today. I have played for basically on average probably 30 minutes a day. And my squad is already taking shape. And I've got nearly 100,000 MT. It is no joke that right now it is easier to start your squad and be no money spent than ever before. If you started your team right now and you grind it for five hours, the amount of MT you get, the amount of good players you'd add to your squad is absolutely ridiculous. And, and, and I can't say that it's ever been like that. Even earlier this year, it took me so long to grind for a good team that could go out there and, and compete in Unlimited. You give me five hours right now, I can build a really solid squad that I can go into Unlimited and win. And that's the one thing I feel like a lot of people right now feel like my team's not accessible, my team's really difficult, there's no auction house that ruins the incentive to play. Now I get it, if you like sniping on the auction house, that can't be replicated. But what I'm telling you guys right now is if you take advantage of these next couple of days and grind out especially these equal chance packs because those are going to be the ones that leave in a couple of days, you're going to set yourself up for a great season of four in my team. I guess you got nine days to get most of these uh, Tis the Season stuff done for Jalen Suggs as well as a lot of other guys. And if you can find a way to get Chet Holgren in the next couple of weeks, it doesn't have to be right away, but get him in the next couple of weeks by playing the game, you're going to have a lot of fun in my team. I promise you. Save your MT. Grind it out, grind this exchange, get an extra 25,000 MT when you can. You're going to notice your team get way better and you're going to have fun playing my team. Again, don't think you always need the best players in the game because if you want Kobe, if you want LeBron, if you want Giannis, if you want, you know, Wemby, yes, it is going to be expensive to play the game. But if you play the game starting now, and you commit to being no money spent, and your goal is to just have fun, you still can grind for one of the best cards in the game with Chet. You still can build your MT like I am with this, you know, New Year's event for it with the fireworks. I'll give credit to my team. I didn't think 2K would do anything like they did with Chet. They've given us a legendary Shaq. And honestly, I don't necessarily love Shaq as it stands right now, but he is still a really solid center for as it stands free right now. And along the way, you can get Amy Lillard, Amy D-Book, some really solid solid cards as well. So, I mean, look, I'm excited for season four and I'm really hoping my team continues the trend that does make it helpful for no money spent type players. Because I mean, honestly, right now the motor rewards aren't good. And despite that, 
2K has found a way to make it okay for no money spent players. All I'm going to say is this, if 2K makes the mode rewards decent, heading into season four of my team, we could see the best it has ever, and it already is maybe the best around Christmas time that has ever been to be no money spent, and it is going to continue to do so. Like I've always said, you know, exhibitions are great. You can, you know, make a lot of MT on that, but that's been available all year. What hasn't been available all year is, is the free grinds for equal chance packs. Is the one of the best bigs in the game with Chet Holgrim for a you know five or six hour grind. Those are the things that haven't been available that makes it right now the best time in my team history to be no money spent. That's my opinion. You guys can disagree, but if you disagree, watch my no money spent squad series and tell me how I'm wrong. It is easier to be no money spent right now than ever before. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are doing as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.